Mm. And, uh, you know what it is. And yo, I wake up in the morning instead of yawning, I'm up. Chase Parks is an eclectic artist. I do all types of music. Hip hop, traditional, jazz. I resurrected, still I died on this cross, I'm bleeding. I feel protected, still I fly in this Porsche deceiving. My life's a mystery, history pistol pissed at me. Spit it viciously, maliciously. You know, I've been doing music for like my whole life. Since I was 15, you know, growing up, I saw my pops. He used to do a lot of jazz music and stuff like that, so that was like a lot of inspiration. Hip hop is, is a way of life for me, you know what I'm saying? I pride myself on, on being truthful, honest, and forthcoming in regards to the content that I put out there. You know, I'm always pushing the boundaries, man. I was featured on MTV twice, on Mixtape Mondays. Recently won three DJBooth.net awards. Best independent artist, best song from an independent artist, best freestyle, it's featured in the Source Magazine, Unsigned Hype. Featured on damn near every website you could imagine, man, like, Tudoboys.com, BoilerStatus.net, all hip hop, and you know I just I just keep going, man. You know I don't stop. I don't believe in stopping. And even with all of that, man, there's still a lot of stuff I got got to prove. Deeper, I'm the best, yes. Yeah. Mind elevation, elevation. My mind steady racing, steady racing. It's mind elevation, elevation. My mind. I don't slack. I don't believe in slacking. Like you know, if you do this. This is what you choose to do, this is the path you choose to take, then you really shouldn't half-ass, like, you know, you should give it 110%. People that know me, or, you know, directly or indirectly through my music, they know what my grind is like, man. You know what I'm saying? I started up the, the Manic Monday series, and, you know, I put out a new original song, like, every week, you know, for a whole year, you know, and that, that in itself, like, you know, on top of that, I was doing more music in addition to that, and more album projects, because I just feel that, as an artist, you know, you have an obligation to to put work out there, man. You know, dudes is, is putting out like, you know, maybe like a song every five months. But that's not that's not gonna cut it. You know, as far as I'm concerned, like, you know, I feel that as long as you're an artist, as long as you're alive, you should be productive. You should have some music out there. I linked up with, with Kevin Nottingham about over a year ago, because when I started my Manny Monday series, he was one of the first hip hop websites to actually co-sign what I was doing at the time. Kevin's very pro, pro real hip hop. You know, he's about the, the real hip hop music, man, the same way that I am. So my brand um, is a perfect cohesiveness there, man. You know, just between what Hypnot is doing and what Case Boss is doing. Album's called The Day in the Life. It's called The Day in the Life because it's a very conceptual project in terms of the flow of it. You know, it just starts from day to night, pretty much. And you know, it's crazy, man. GC did all the beats. Shout out to GC. It's a real traditional sound of hip hop project. It's not, it's not a, a, a mainstream type album. It's for the heads out there that like real hip hop music, that have an appreciation for the culture, for the art form. Man, it's very lyrical. It's not no bullshit, not no gimmicks. It's just straight hip hop, man. It's no auto tune. It's no skinny jeans. It's none of that. It's just straight 100. You know, it's definitely going to be something that the real hip hop heads can dig deep into and appreciate. It's a lot of bangers on the album. It's a lot of quality hip hop music. If I had to pick like three songs that I like out of everything, uh, I say Keep Moving. Featuring Sean Price from Boot Camp Click. That song is, is crazy in terms of just the way it's structured. Um, lyrically, it's like a lot of flows, a lot of back and forth. Um, you know, I just emphasize a lot of punchlines, creative-wise. I wanted to take it artistically to another level. A lot of dudes, like you hear them spit nowadays, but you can't really feel them because of what they're saying or the way they're delivering that. So, you know, I just concentrated on the delivery, the flow, punchlines. Julie's friends, since I wrote the hook, sang it out. Pretty dope. Next joint I really, really, really like is uh, Watching Me. I featured an artist by the name of Chris Young. And um, I never really listened to Chris's music prior to um, the actual song. But when I heard what he did, I liked it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he definitely he did his thing. And um, 
this joint just came out crazy, man. This is basically about how people, you know, they're always watching you when you achieve a certain level of success, you know, whether that be, your, you know, in the entertainment industry or whatever you do, people are going to be watching you, critiquing you, they're always going to have something to say. And um, it's the nature of the song, man. Next joint I really like uh, is called Jezebel. And uh, that's a conceptual song that I wrote that fits the uh, the overall vibe of the project. It's about getting caught up with a female, you know. She tells you a couple lies, but you don't realize until it just happens to be too late. And uh, you know, that causes a lot of negative situations to play off that. But it's, it's a dope story and uh, you know, catchy hook, same thing, you know. It's, Real dope record, man. Everything flows properly. So those are definitely my, I'll say the three standout tracks to me that I really, really am feeling for the project. Opportunity, let's make it count.